Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's getting their New Year's Day started out right. I should say the New Year is starting out right. <laughs> I'll be reading to you a devotional. This devotional is entitled how to pass down the faith. I'll be reading from my Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. Paul, an apostle of, Je of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God whom I serve as did my ancestors with a clear conscience as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. As I remember your tears, I long to see you that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and now I am sure dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you, through the laying on of hands, of my hands. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Amen. Another devotional. One of our greatest desires as Christians is that our loved loved ones come to faith in the Savior. Although we can't believe for anyone else, there are steps we can take to impact their lives for Christ. Tell them about Jesus. People may be drawn to Christ by our example, but to be saved, they must hear and understand the gospel. Share basic principles from the Bible. Pass along the spiritual lessons you, are, you have learned about God. For example, share with others that the Heavenly Father provides for his children's needs, guides with his word, and enables those in Christ to live righteously and obediently. Model trust in God with your lifestyle. If you are characterized by peace, joy, and contentment in the midst of hardship or suffering, your example will speak volumes to those around you. Words and actions demonstrate that your faith is genuine and that Christ truly can transform lives. My grandfather was the one who influenced me. I remember thinking that if God could love and care for him, he could probably take care of me too. Don't you want your character to leave others with that same confidence in the Lord? Ooh, amen. That's it for the reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.